Hello, this is Brad Heinz, and I'm uh, the dairy scientist at the University of Minnesota West Central Research and Outreach Center in Morris, Minnesota. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of some of the Kernza uh, research that we've been looking at uh, in our grazing dairy herd. So why would we want to consider Kernza for, for grazing? Well, there's many different reasons for that. One is to provide crop diversity across the landscape. Uh, we certainly could improve soil fertility by uh, having a, a different uh, species on the landscape. It would also help with uh, nutrient cycling, improving nutrient cycling uh, from the grass standpoint, as well as from the cattle on the land. We can keep that soil covered over the winter time. And probably the biggest reason, or at least I like to think so, is we can integrate livestock on cropland and sort of have a dual benefit of harvesting a crop as well as providing feed for livestock. And with Kearns, I think we can provide early and late season forage uh, for grazing livestock depending on the management situation of each farm. Uh, so this is our, our research station in Morris. We had 14 acres of uh, Kernza that we uh, planted uh, about four years ago. And this is the early stand coming up uh, the next spring uh, afterwards. And we have a nice uh, established stand later on in the summertime where we were able to graze uh, cattle. So our first experiment really was looking at, at grazing uh, heifers uh, across the, the Kernza in the fall. And these are a picture of our uh, heifers grazing the, uh, that Kernza in the fall time. We put them out there in uh, October and well, lo and behold, we were still grazing them uh, in the winter time. In uh, this was around middle of November. There was still plenty of forage out there for those cattle to graze during that time period. So there has been some uh, research that we conducted with that. Um, the grazed biomass uh, at our research center was about 431 uh, kilos per hectare and they utilized about 80 percent of the forage uh, when they grazed across that. There were some also additional research that looked at uh, Kernza with and without a legume intercrop uh, study done uh, in uh, Wisconsin. You notice that there's more biomass when you incorporate a, a legume intercrop in with the Kernza uh, and there's just more biomass for the land uh, livestock to graze at 560 compared to just 200 with um, the Kernza. And they usually utilize about the same forage utilization whether there was a intercrop or not. One of the benefits obviously is, is providing uh, some biomass. A total biomass was about the same, whether we had Kernza or uh, Kernza red clover uh, in this spring gra grazing uh, research project that they did in, in Wisconsin. We look at whether you uh, graze it or, no, or don't graze it. Um, it can be uh, about the same. Uh, the biomass is a little bit less in the spring grazing, uh, about 600 uh, kilograms less, and uh, total biomass maybe a little bit less when you spring graze it versus no grazing it. We also did a experiment where we strip grazed it in the uh, at Morris again with uh, a Kearns alfalfa and uh, compared it to a conventional pasture and heifers uh, going across that for about 30 days uh, across the, the fall. And one of the, the big things that we find is that there was no difference in uh, average daily gain, whether the heifers were on a, a Kernza in red here or in a kind of a bluish greenish, uh, whether they were on pasture. So Sort of the take home message is that uh, the heifers that graze the Kernza do not suffer in body weight, so it provides adequate nutrition uh, for those heifers compared to perennial pasture. 
And just this spring, we've been, uh, we still continue to, to graze the Kernza. Uh, we still have it on our, our research uh, farm and we uh, graze it with our milking cows. So we had a 180 uh, lactating dairy cows out on uh, Kernza pasture in the spring. You can see there's a lot of biomass there, a lot of Kernza. You can see the alfalfa sprinkled in, intermixed in there, but it really provided a lot of forage. Uh, you can see that most of the forage is up to the knees of the cows, so there's at least 12 to 14 inches of forage biomass there. So there was a lot of forage uh, across there, and the cows grazed it uh, quite well. And uh, the 14 acres uh, for these cows, they went across it in about 10 days. Uh, there was enough uh, grazing once a day, there was enough forage for those uh, cattle to go across that. And uh, so Hopefully you uh, was given a brief uh, overview of the, the grazing uh, Kernza here in, in Morris. And if you ever wanna come out and see it or, or learn more, uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you.